Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at a budget light that I've been testing out for the last several months, and I've had some decent time handling it, uh, especially throughout the winter season. And this is a light from CV Life. Uh, I was initially hesitant as to the quality and performance of this light, especially at the price point, but after having time uh, testing it out and uh, kind of using this as a general um, tool light, a vehicle, keeping in the vehicle, um, using it uh, on a EDC and uh, winter coats and on uh, trips, uh, definitely uh, coming to appreciate it and value it as a dependable and uh, very reliable uh, light. So CV Life is a budget uh, manufacturer, overseas manufacturer of uh, accessories. Uh, they're famous on Amazon for their uh, copy of the Harris bipod. And uh, for the price, it's an excellent way to see if you like bipods before you jump in and acquire the real thing. They also have a whole section and slew of slings and other accessories and they're very uh responsive they have a great uh facebook group as well which i encourage you to join if you're interested in learning more about the products and general outdoor activities and uh, they did send this light to me so uh just for full disclosure uh there straight up front for 16 dollars, you get a ton of features and capability in this kit and i think it's really worth it as a handheld light uh, that you should have uh, even if i pay this with my own money, I would still say the same thing after having tested this light out for several months. Uh, just from the unboxing, uh, you get everything you need to get your light up and running, including a rechargeable battery and a USB wall charger, as well as a lanyard and a nice carrying case with decent instructions uh, as well. Initial impressions from handling the light were that was, was that it feels sturdy and well made, uh, and it's held up uh, very well uh, since then. Aside from EDC, uh, at this price, it's very easy to outfit your group your family or every single vehicle or your toolboxes with a light that works and offers a uh, very high uh, functionality and capability. This is also a rechargeable LED light and because it's rechargeable it's perfect for general EDC use, uh, craftsmen, outdoorsmen, uh, emergency security, EMS use. Uh, you can charge it and then not have to push for batteries. Uh, that's really a nice uh, feature. The build quality of the light is really nice. Uh, it has an aluminum exterior. It's very nicely machined with knurling and texture. You also have a crenellated bezel for additional empty-handed uh, defensive capability. It also has these nice cooling fins machined in that are common on many uh, lights. I haven't felt the light get hot at all, but it's nice to have them there and it shows thoughtfulness and aesthetic on the part of the CV Life design team. It's IPX6 waterproof rated. Um, again, used it in the snow, used it in rain. Um, water resistant for sure and as well. The pocket clip is strong. Uh, I do wish there was a way to remove it, but it's low profile enough that I would keep it there anyway. So I'm sure there's a way to remove it if I really wanted to, but again, I'll just keep it there. And it's, it's nice to have. Uh, some other lights are have a pocket clip that you can just click on and off, which would be nice uh, to have if possible. The push button is tactile and audible, and it's stayed fresh even after using it for the past few months. And it's nice and red. You can uh, see it uh, pretty easily. The battery cap as well hasn't loosened and it has an o-ring inside for waterproofing. And lastly, there's a small opening to attach an included lanyard, which is also a nice addition. As far as the beam, you get five modes of lighting, each changed by quickly clicking and cycling through the modes, and the modes are going to be high, medium, low, strobe, and SOS in that order. Each mode has its uses, and especially I like how SOS is included. Uh, you really don't see that that often, but it's nice to turn on SOS, stick it in your backpack, and now you're group knows uh, where you are if you don't have a chem light or something on you. They list the LED as a T6. Uh, I'm unsure what that is. Uh, however, it's a pretty strong LED. Uh, it's got good spill. The hotspot is diffused throughout. There's no specific uh, hotspot. It's just a good uh, consistent uh, spill. And it's really uh, strong nonetheless. It allows you to punch uh, through uh, kind of like any kind of barriers and see uh, through uh, see for quite a great, quite a, quite a good distance uh, it's not the they quote the beam as producing 800 lumens so i'm not going to go ahead and say this is the brightest thing ever um and you know with photonic barriers or whatever looking under street lights it will be uh, kind of hard to see but the purpose of this light isn't necessarily a tactical light it's an everyday use uh, kind of light so uh, for that purpose uh, it's done quite well i'm going to assume that 800 lumens is the high setting and then the medium is probably 500 and the low is 200. And let's take a look at each of the beam settings.
You can also adjust the zoom and shape of the beam by pulling on the bezel head and making it into more of a spot uh, beam and less uh, flood and less spill and kind of making it more focused. Uh, I don't, not really something I find myself uh, using. Uh, I guess it's nice to have. And also what I like even more is that the bezel head does not dislodge itself and change the zoom on you. Uh, it's a very deliberate action. Once you push it back into place, it kind of, there's enough friction to keep it closed. So that's good. One of the best features is also the rechargeable battery, which has a charging time of just six hours to fully recharge it. And it holds up really good in the cold. It's a quality battery. I haven't noticed the battery draining or dropping off uh, excessively or anything like that. Actually, not at all. Like it's been very consistent and very good throughout. And it hasn't, the beam as well doesn't like suddenly just drop off uh, on you. So uh, that's really good uh, as well. Um, as long as you're aware of the limitations of a general purpose light such as this, and for the price, you get a high quality, very functional light uh, that you can outfit a lot of people with. Uh, it holds up, it's reliable, it's legit. Uh, as long as you're aware that it's not gonna function as well as a high-end tactical light that costs several times more uh, at the least, um, then this light will be very good for you. Uh, definitely something you should have in your toolbox. I do appreciate the opportunity to review it and I'll be continuing to use it, uh, this light for a long time, hopefully. Um, now that I see it on Amazon, I feel very comfortable recommending it to people. Uh, you can either purchase it on the CV Life's website or on their Amazon uh, page as well. Uh, so that's all for now. As always, if you have any comments or questions, just drop them below. I will put a link to the product page below of CV Life, uh, but I make no money. There's no financial incentives off your purchases or your clicks. Again, if you're interested, they do have a Facebook group where they share uh, upcoming releases, new products, testing opportunities, um, things like that. It's a nice group over there. So recommend you uh, join in. Um, like, subscribe, and share uh, this video as well as all the other videos on the channel. All that really helps me grow and share my experience here. And thanks everybody for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care.